is Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library, and I have a question for you today. Have you ever heard of a water strider? It's an insect. Well, in some parts of the world they call it a pond skater, but it has a special ability. Can you guess what that ability is by its name? It's called a water strider or a pond skater. Hmm, well, a water strider, a pond skater, is an insect that can actually walk on water. You can find them in ponds or in still streams. But how can they do this? And more importantly, what do they look like? Maybe you've seen one before today, but didn't know what it was called. Well, today we're going to take a look and conduct some experiments that explain this cool ability and the science behind it. Now let's take a closer look. The water strider. A water strider is an insect, so it has three legs on each side. You can see this is from the front. It has two shorter front legs and two longer back legs on each side. So all together it has six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the water strider uses the front legs to grab its food and its back legs to kind of rest and walk across the water. Pretty cool. You can also see on the top that there are wings because it can actually fly. It doesn't have to walk. Now that's even cooler. Let's take a closer look at a water strider in his environment. You see he's just kind of walking across the water there and as he moves you can see he moves his legs kind of like the oars on a boat. And look at how fast he can go. Now he uses the ripples to tell him what's around him, like where he can find the nearest lunch. Well, yum! Well that is if you're a water strider. Otherwise, yuck! You may be wondering how a water skater could do this. You would think that he would sink right in. Well, if you look really closely, you can see that the legs make little dimples on the water. You can see it even closer right here. And that is because of the really cool thing you could see on his legs. There are little tiny hairs on the legs. And these hairs are actually all over the whole insect's body and they help trap air close to the water to create more water surface tension. That is the cool thing about these bugs that allows them to look like they are skating or walking across the water. Let's take a look at the science behind how these incredible insects can walk or stride or skate across the water with some cool surface tension experiments. To explore surface tension, first you're going to need water and probably some paper towels. So fill a container, any container with water, and try to keep adding some water so that you can get it to go a little bit over the top of the container but not spill. And the reason it's able to do that is because of water surface tension and that the water molecules like to stick together uh, and so then it creates this skin or tension on the top. You can almost see it when you're just touching the water. But it's kind of hard to see. So we're going to do a couple experiments that show exactly what water surface tension can do. Now it's hard to see surface tension. So what we're going to do is uh, give you a little demonstration. Maybe you've done this before. Um, and all you need is a bowl of cold water. Now the water needs to be cold, not ice cold, but it, it just can't be warm. And then you need some pepper and some dish soap. So now that we have the uh, water here, we're going to sprinkle a bunch of pepper on. You can even try other spices that you might have in your household.
and then you're going to take some soap just a little bit on your finger so you can see that the pepper is just kind of floating there and right on the top of the water and it's using water surface tension now if you put your finger of soap in there what will happen let's find out pretty cool now you can try other little places but now it's not going to have the greatest effect because you've already put that soap right in the middle let's do a couple more um, activities with the same water surface tension for this experiment we're going to use some toothpicks some cold water now remember that I've washed out the bowl I have no soap in it it has cold water and my hands are not soapy and I'm going to put some toothpicks in there and try to float them. And I'm going to make a shape. You can make any shape you want. I'm going to make a triangle. Okay. Now you can see that the water surface tension, it likes to stick together and it makes the water a little sticky and that these little sticks can stick together. If I put my finger in here, it'll break it and move it apart, but not by that much. So now if I put a little bit of soap, ooh, that's too much soap, do I have paper towels? Right in the middle, what will happen? They go completely apart because it has broken that water surface tension. Pretty cool. There's one more trick I'm going to show you. Have you ever experimented with sink or float? And you found out that some things would sink and some things would float, but there are some other ones that could do both. Well, to explore surface tension, I'm gonna show you how you can use surface tension to have a paper clip do both. All you need is a paper clip, some cool water, I have a little bit of ice in there trying to chill my water because my tap water is not that cold. Uh, and a fork. Now what happens when we put the paper clip into the, the container? It's going to sink right down. I'm going to use the fork to pick it up. And try it again. Oop, right down. Try really carefully. Can you do it? Nope. Can't do it. So here's a cool trick that you can do that you can get this paper clip to float. So you're going to put it on a fork and you're doing that because you don't want the surf to break the surface tension and you're going to carefully place it in until you can see that it floats and carefully remove the fork out of there. And now you can see it floats using the water surface tension. Pretty cool. See if you can do that with any other objects laying around your house and have fun. I'll include a link in the description box below if you want to learn more about water striders or even do some more experiments with water surface tension, including one of my favorites, Mr. Wizard. Have fun!